At Free as London, Alison Jacques Gallery is showing Maria Bartosova's biomorphic forms. David Owens as the Royal Academy of Arts delves into the uncanny relationship between Dolly and Dutchamp until 3 January 2018. Visitors to the Free as Fairs are finding plenty of surreal, inexplicable art that chimes with our surreal, inexplicable times. At Free as Masters, La Demi Poupie Half Doll 1972, a fetishized doll, with a single breast, arm and leg, is one of four works by the surrealist artist Hans Belmer 190,275 on the stand of David Levy. Contemporary collectors are very interested in his work, Levy says. It attracts and repulses, because somewhere in everyone's unconscious, it rings a bell, which is what all surrealist work is about. Collectors from China who have never heard of Belmer are fascinated by it. The work, from an edition of nine, is priced at 280,000 euros. Levy Gorvi is showing an untitled work from 1967 220,000 euros in ink on paper, peppered with doll's eyes, by Carol Rama 19,182,015. The Italian artist defied categorization, but her work bore the hallmarks of surrealism. Rama's early work was more sexually explicit, but after police shut down her show in Turin in 1945, she was forced to find a more abstract way to communicate bodily desires. You can see a line between Rama, Louise Bourgeois and Eva Hess, all using different found materials in a surreal manner, indicating desire or suppression without directly depicting it, says Emilio Steinberger, the gallery's director. Opposite is Chaim Reed and Thomas Dane Gallery solo stand of Linda Bengles B. 1941, another artist who resists being labeled but has a more contemporary take on the uncanny and biomorphic. The works, dating from 1968 to 1990, begin at $30,000 and reach $1.2 million for Eat Meat 196,975, a port bronze. Adam Sheffer, partner and sales director at Chaim Reed, says it's very hard to look at something like eat meat and not have a visceral reaction. It's not a traditionally beautiful sculpture, it relates to process, to bodily fluids. People are genuinely uncomfortable encountering it. The gallery has had strong interest from museums in the UK, the US and Western Europe. Works with a surrealist slant are also on show at Frias London, including sculptures by the late Czech-born artist Maria Bartosova at Alison Jacques Gallery. The biomorphic forms of Bartosova's works in plaster, bronze and aluminium, including Rebentorso 198,496, recall the practices of artists such as Jean Arp and Joan Miro. We decided to show her work in dialogue with a piece by Dorothea Tanning Glad Nude with Paws 1978. It makes sense that Bartosova's works are shown alongside a major painting by an artist who is part of the Surrealist movement, Jacques says. The Surrealist spirit of fracturing and manipulating the established order also reflects the economic and political upheaval being felt across the world. This idea is captured in the sculptor Kevin Francis Gray's works in marble, available with Pace Gallery. Reclining nude I 2016 is completely distorted, Gray says. A few years ago, I felt I needed to fracture my practice. To remain relevant, I changed my language. You could say that my outlook is more fractured, much darker and heavier, just like the times.